everybody, my name is Spamos and welcome to Stormworks. Coming up tonight, we're gonna check out the luxurious ocean liner, the SS Louisiana. Who knows, maybe it might sink. No one would see that coming. And so, without any more stalling, let's begin. Welcome to the game and there she is, the SS Louisiana. Heavily inspired by the SS United States and the SS America of the United States lines. Mighty fine looking ship if I don't say so myself. And as you can see, she's a pretty large ship. But so far, no lack. Now, by the looks of it, she's got many a deck to explore. So how's about we get on board and have a look around? Unfortunately, there's no gangway for this one, so you're going to have to get a bit wet. <laughs> Swimming out of the vessel like any esteemed finest first-class passenger, you grab onto the ladder, you swaggle up to the top, and you smack that button. Kaboom! Ooh! Double doorway opening action. Stepping up into the doorway. You, you struggle to go through the door. <laughs> Let me in! That's it, crouch jump. Boom. And we're on board, everybody. Welcome on board, the SS Louisiana. It's going to close that door up. Oh, that is satisfying. Looking forward, we've got some what seems to be passenger accommodation, as well as back here. Let's put our head into one. Oh, turnkey. I, is that how I open door? Oh, that's not a comet. Oh, that's a secret below ground area. We'll come back to that a little bit later. Oh, these. Oh! Okay, we've got a cabin, everybody. Bunk beds in this one. Ooh! That button looks a bit fancy. Ooh. Okay, heading aft. We got a cinema. I was not expecting to find a cinema on board this ship. But you know what? I think there's room for a couple more chairs. There's a switch. Spotlights? Okay, ooh. That is a... That's some bright lights right there. Turn them off. So what's back here? There's just doorways either side. Behind the screen. Please tell me I can put on a film. Oh, would you look at that? Just in time for the latest Spamble's episode. Oh, geez. If I wasn't subscribed to that guy. Oh, he, I would be. Okay, well, that's all we can do aft for now. So, oh, no, the door's closed. <laughs> How do I open the door from this side? Let me out. Let me out. I survived. Escaping the dreaded cinema. We're pushing our way forwards. Oh, yep. Even more bunk beds. Another random door just to be sure. Oh, oh. It's a dining saloon! Looks very American. Spanning the entire width of the ship, it's forward and backwards. Okay, so how about this doorway here? Okay, I don't know what any of this is. <laughs> should I, should I be here? Hi. Is this like the brig or something? I'm gonna say it's a ship's brig. We've got four prison cells on board this liner. Continuing forwards. Oh, oh, I know, they're changing rooms. They're changing rooms, not prison cells. Because look at this, we got a swimming pool. I was not expecting a swimming pool down here. So this ship has both a cinema and a swimming pool. The pool is a little bit dry just now, but that's not the point. I love the fact that it's included and it even has detailing. Those are lights, I think, as well as, I guess, I don't know, water intakes or something. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, look at this. I fell in the pool. Oh no, don't get stuck. For reals, don't get stuck in the pool. Oh my god, I was literally about to comment on how you can't get stuck in this room like the bloating cinema. Unlike the cinema, this door has got a lock on the inside. You can get out, you don't get stuck. Okay, we're done. Should I close these doors? I probably should. Right, this magical door with the key. I want to know where this goes. I'm assuming engine room. Ooh! That looks like a big engine. I am liking the detailing in this. Wow, there's a legit control panel. Should I touch things? This is awesome. This is very cool. Oh yeah, and we're under the cinema. That's a really clever use of space. Okay, so we're done in the engine room for now. I'm gonna come back later and check on those dials and see if we can actually like navigate the ship from in this room. So returning to the midships where we entered the ship, we're gonna take a turn and go up these stairs. There's a couple of decks ahead of us still to explore. One at a time, everybody. So we've got chairs on this. Is this more accommodation? Ooh, okay, I think we're going up in the world. So that must have been third class downstairs. And now we're, or, or even second class, and now we're in kind of the first class areas. Because these rooms, they got beds. They got tables and chairs too. It's a bit more kind of bang for your buck. So moving forwards, is this a cargo hold? Okay, yeah, we're in the bow of the ship. What is this? That looks mighty suspicious. And I don't know why. Why is this here? Well, the cargo hold, everybody. Okay, returning to the midships, going to the aft portion. I'm, I'm assuming more accommodation. Okay. We get the idea. What's back here, though? 
I was going to say tumble dryers. <laughs> so I assume we're underneath one of the funnels. This is perhaps some sort of the ventilation system, exhaust system, some sort of system system. And definitely not tumble dryers. Okay, moving up. Another deck. Oh, we got chunky monkey windows. How about that for a view, everybody? See, this is one of the things I really like about this game. Yes, I know it has a low art style, blocks, poly, all that jazz. Look through those windows. Look at the ocean. I really like the water. I like the physics. I like how it all works. And the other cool thing is, you could build this. This isn't an in-game asset. This is 100% player built. So there's so much freedom and flexibility to this game built on physics. It's so cool. We haven't even seen bad weather yet. That's still to come. Oh, yes. Well, that is the midship. It's a very nice use of space. It's very spacious. I like the colors. I like how free I feel. <laughs> right, let's continue the tour. Right, so up next, we're going to head aft down the center corridor. Ooh, okay, so these must be like the super duper cabins because you got a ginormous bay window you got lovely beds the lovely table and more room to shake a stick at look at that even your own walk-in bathroom everybody oh and then going even further after there were some more cabins but we have oh stepping through the doorway you find yourself on the open decks of the ss louisiana you can go all the way to the stern go past the docking bridge and by the looks of things you've got your own private jacuzzi or splash pool I think it's a jacuzzi. What does this do? Oh, that's just heating on. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a thing. Okay, I'm done here. Let's push forwards. Returning to the corridor of doom. Going through the midships and forwards again. I'm pretty sure these are going to be cabins. Yeah, they're cabins. We've seen them. Close the door. Big open space. It's going to be access to the bow, isn't it? Hadouken. Oh, it's the magical doorway opens like some sort of Wizard of Oz Narnia wardrobe on the forward bow section, it would seem. Look at that. No mast required on this ship. That's actually quite visually pleasing. I like boats, what can I say? This ship is very visually impressive. Like, the proportions are working well. The scale, the sizing, it's very interesting. There's a lot to walk around, a lot to see and do. And as you pull back, like, this magnificent camera shot, if I don't say so myself, oh, so much eye candy going on. But no, kings of the world, no, 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 no. Returning to the midships, once again, we jump up those staircases cases because we're eager to explore what's going on okay that's amazing look at this room so you've got loads of seating to be lovely and happy and all that jazz but look up above you big old glass domey ceiling thing with a spectacular view of the funnels on a beautiful clear day like this as well oh it's amazing it's beautiful with all the gushing of the ceiling taken care of we're pushing forwards we've got a couple more doors hit open that door button Ooh. okay this is like super duper vip room oh with a mega bathroom oh anyway pushing forwards beyond that got a double doorway this is like the ultra deluxe VIP cabin, it would seem, with forward-facing portholes as well. That would be so cool. I've never had a cabin with forward-facing windows. Oh, but you could sit there for hours, especially on a bad weather day, seeing those waves rolling on in, smashing on the bow. Right, so let's head aft. Well, hang on. There's some doors on the side here. These are going to take us out on deck, I suppose. Ooh, I love how those doors are, but... Oh, okay, here we go. Boat deck, promenade deck, whichever deck you want to call it, there's nothing grander than walking it on an ocean-going liner. Speaking from experience, you wouldn't think how entertaining it is just to walk and to look out into the ocean. The ocean is like a perpetual lava lamp, and you're just like, you're fixated on the movements of the waters. It's amazing. So heading aft all the way down, we find ourselves overlooking the back of the ship, as you would expect. A couple doorways, I guess they're going to take us back inside yes they are that is more or less it but how do we get onto the bridge yeah this is as high as it goes so wait how do the how did the crew get to the bridge i guess i'm gonna have to climb up after all bleh, bleh, bleh. well here we go everybody we're on the very top of the ship looking forwards at those magnificent funnels and lifeboats um, I'm starting to think they're just cosmetic. I don't think they actually work as lifeboats, but that would be mighty cool if they did. Look at this! I think that is probably the highlight of this entire build. 
that ceiling. This is amazing. Yeah, good luck getting through that doorway. Oh, okay. I can squeeze down here. So, boom. Won the bridge, everybody. Congratulations. Well, as far as bridges go, it's mildly basic. It's just got your regular assortment of switches, buttons, and keys, and toggles, and dials that you would expect to find in any toddler's baby's crib. And, of course, there's the ship's helm itself. You got some photos and some boxes, which I assume are there to mimic, like, telegraphs or something like that. But then tucked in the corner, you got this guy, which, judging by that pipe, I think might be a wireless operator. So your message would come down this pneumatic tube, you'd read it out, and then you'd do some Morse code. So interior lights, is that for the entire ship or just for this room? Navigation lights, on! Exterior lights, on! Because why not? Towing connector, we don't need that. Okay, that's our depth meter. That's handy to know. Now we've got four speedometers set by knots, meters per second, kilometers per hour, and miles per hour. Mm. Unlock scuttle. Oh. Ah ha ha. If you want to kill the ship, that's the button for that. So what's through here? Ah, of course, the bridge wings. Of course it is. Yeah. The bridge wings always offer a fantastic viewpoint over the bow and the surrounding scenery. Well, the time has come, everybody. It is time to leave the port. Sound the horns. That'll do. Right. Start the engines. Going up on the throttles. Oh, look at that. We have spin. Whoa. And with that, the SS Louisiana departs from the port. Taking us to full power, Mr. Zulu. Now we're cooking with bacon. Look at that water lapping at the front of the ship. Whoa. We have left land way behind. Look at that. I told you bridge wings are the coolest. So we're doing this on creative mode. There's some really cool creative tools that we get to play around with. I present the creative options over with weather tool. Ta -da! Would you like some fog in your life? Oh, we can make that happen. Look at this. Oh, all of the fog. You can't see where you're going. No, 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 no. We don't want that fog. Now, the cool thing about this game is that it is physics-based. And by increasing the wind, it affects how the ocean rolls around. Allow me to show you. All of the winds. Oh, look at that. Oh, white-capped waves instantly appear. Look at that. We're pitching and yawling up and down. We've got the wind hitting us on our broad sides. You thought wind was bad? How about rain? All of the rain. And just... Oh! <laughs> and just like that, massive thunder and lightning storm begins. Right, what could possibly go wrong this time? And now the rain has come. It has also gotten darker and the ship's lights are really starting to kick in as we bob up and down on that water. Oh boy, this promenade boat decky place thing. <laughs> oh, I am having so much fun. I am having all of the fun, much fun, great fun. Now, what's cool about this is that the ship actually... Stop being noisy! The ship actually displaces water. So if we go below the waterline, well, we're dry. It's all hunky-dory down here. So look, for example, no water, feeling particularly safe. All of the water, feeling terrified. Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the ocean, a tsunami appears! Ba -ba Oh my god! Look at the size of that wave! That lighthouse is gonna get absolutely engulfed! Look at that lighthouse go! We're next, everybody! Okay, I've come up onto the promenade deck because I'm an idiot. Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! We're over the peak! Ah, I'm falling! Oh, oh no, 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 no! Um, ah! Get on the bridge, on the bridge, on the bridge. Get on that helm, on the helm. Oh, God, I'm tumbling everywhere. Things are not going according to plan. Dear God, that was huge. I want to do it again. Please, sir, may we have another tsunami? So we missed quite a lot of that tsunami because I was running around like an idiot. This time, I'm going to hang on to the helm and we're going to see how the ship is hit by it from the outside. Here it comes, everybody. It is massive. I don't know how tall it is. I'm going to say very tall. Can <laughs> we get a crack of the lightning, please, Odin? Thank you very much. Oh, my jacuzzi's toppled over on my stern. <laughs> Apparently, it's not a jacuzzi. Okay, bring it on, Tsunami. I'm turning straight towards you. Oh, oh, the bow. I'm under the water. Oh, my God. It Woo! Mom, get the camera. We're entirely out the water. We're free fall. <laughs> How the hell did we survive that? That was 
was amazing. It even flipped our jacuzzi back around. <laughs> well, there you go. Can the SS Louisiana survive double tsunami whilst having hurricane storm and weather going on? Well, yes, she can. The worst place to be on the starboard bridge wing overhanging the side of the ship in a mega storm like this with a tsunami on the way coming from any possible direction right now. Oh, it's coming on the left hand side. Oh my God, we're rolling. We are rolling. Are we gonna capsize? Oh my God, it is terrifying. And then once again, we're out of the water, completely in free fall and sploosh. No way we survived that. That would be a death stroke. Oh, we're rolling on the other side now. We would not survive that. That is not survivable. But all of this surviving is boring. Sink the ship. Unlocking the scuttle. Preparing to activate. Okay, activating the scuttle. Boom. Right, this ship is dead. But we're still underway. I'm, I don't know if the sinking has actually started yet or how long it might take. But I think we're going to have to deal with the tsunami first. Oh, this doesn't get boring. This does not get boring. Look at this. No way. No way. And then over the top. <laughs> and balloon. Okay, step one for are we sinking is to open the exterior doors. Terrifying. Not go off that No, no, no. Ah! Uh, can, can I get back on, please? Glitch through the ship or something because I don't know how to get back to the ship. <laughs> well, I messed up, everybody. I'm really sorry. I fell out the boat. I can't get back to the boat. I don't know how to teleport anywhere. If there's a way to teleport back to the ship or how to fly, please tell me so then in the future I can then make sure this doesn't happen again. But anyway, did you enjoy yourself? If you did, leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and help me because I'm an idiot. On that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.